Hi viewers, I am Muhammad Ali and you are watching Femulations. Today in this video, I will demonstrate many important ideas about a capacitor. How a capacitor is charged, what is the effect of charge and voltage on the capacitance. How capacitance can be varied? What is the effect of connection and disconnection of a battery on the capacitor? So there are many important things to learn in this video. So you have to stay connected, stay calm while you watch this video. Let's start with the basic idea. How a capacitor is charged? So here I have connected a voltmeter across the plates of a capacitor. I have connected a battery. There are plates having plate area, having the separation and I have also placed a dielectric medium. First of all, when we increase the voltage of the battery, the capacitor gets charged, the electrons transfer from one plate to another plate. Again, if we decrease the voltage, the capacitor is neutralized and we bring the voltage up to zero. So during this process, now you have to observe two things. First, observe this graph that when we increase the voltage, the charge on the plates get increased. So we have a relation that Q is directly proportional to V. As we increase the voltage, the charge on the plates of the capacitor grow. Now, if we decrease the voltage, the charge also decreases. And if we change the polarity of the battery, let's say we are now connecting negative towards the positive and positive towards the negative, the charge again rises. The polarity of charge on the plates is reversed. So it doesn't matter that which way you connect the battery, you just need to charge a capacitor in one way. So we have done one important thing that charge is directly proportional to voltage. Now the second thing, will the capacity of a capacitance be changed by changing the voltage or charge? So in this proportionality Q is equal to CV and C is equal to Q by V. Now see, here is the graph of capacitance. If I decrease the voltage the charge is getting decreased. If I increase the voltage, the charge is getting increased, but there is no effect on the capacitance of a capacitor. So you have to remember that capacity of a capacitor or the capacitance of a capacitor does not change by changing either the voltage or either the charge. Their ratio remains constant and that ratio is known as the capacitance of a capacitor. The next thing I'm going to show you that how capacitance can be increased or decreased. As you have seen that capacitance does not change by changing the voltage or charge. So how it can be changed. So you all have read in your books that C is equal to Q by V and further derivation says that it is equal to A epsilon naught epsilon R over D. These are the parameters on which the capacitance of a capacitor depends upon. It means that if we increase the area, the capacitance should increase. If we add a dielectric medium, the capacitance should increase. If we decrease the distance between the plates, the capacitance should increase. So I will show you all these effects and you have to focus on this graph. So at first, I am increasing the area of the plates. As I am increasing the area, the capacitance, the green graph is increasing. And as I am decreasing the area, the capacitance is decreasing. So capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the plates. Now, if we decrease the distance between the plates, the capacity increase and if we increase the distance between the plates the capacity decrease the third thing 
if we add a dielectric medium the capacitance keep on increasing and if we remove the dielectric medium the capacitance decreases so all these things affect the capacitance of a capacitor dear viewers the next thing is what happens when the battery remains connected to a capacitor or when it is removed so first of all let us say that the battery is connected to the capacitor and if we change the area separation or if we add the dielectric what happens to the plate charge what happens to the potential across the plates so you have to be focused keep watching what happens to the voltmeter so remember in first case the battery is connected and just observe you have to observe the voltmeter i am changing the area of the plates nothing is happening to the voltmeter i am changing the separation of the plates nothing is happening to the voltmeter i am adding the dielectric and still nothing is happening to the voltmeter so you all have to remember that whenever battery is connected to the capacitor the voltage across the plate remains constant whatever you are going to change either you are going to change the area either you are going to change the separation or whatsoever and now let us remove everything from here and now by charging a capacitor we just disconnect the battery i am just connecting the voltmeter needles to the capacitor so that the voltmeter shows the reading of voltage across the capacitor now i will change the area of the plates what's happening the voltmeter reading is changing now i am changing the separation the voltmeter reading will also change now viewers focus on this red graph i am changing the area of the plates the capacitance is getting changed the potential is getting changed but the charge on the plates remains constant the charge on the plates remains constant if i am adding a dielectric between the plates still the potential is changing and the charge remains constant so this time you have to remember that when battery is disconnected then charge across the plates remains constant so i am hopeful you have got this idea dear viewers i have now introduced another third graph which will represent the stored energy in the capacitor that's the equation that's the general equation for energy storing in a capacitor and it can be converted from this form into this form that energy stored is 1 over 2 cv square or it can be converted into energy stored is equal to 1 over 2 q square by c as you can see that in one equation energy stored is directly proportional to the capacitance and in the other equation it is inversely proportional to the capacitance that change occur because of the connection of the battery let's say if the battery remains connected to the capacitor and we change the capacitance of a capacitor the energy will be affected directly it means that if i am going to increase the capacitance the stored energy will increase and on the other hand if the battery is disconnected then if i increase the capacitance the stored energy will decrease so again you have to focus on the graphs and most importantly you have to focus on energy and capacitance graph all okay now let's say that the battery is connected to the capacitor when the battery is connected to the capacitor the stored energy and the capacitance are directly proportional so if i'm going to increase the area of the plates the capacitance is increasing as well as the stored energy is increasing as the capacitance is decreasing the stored energy is also decreasing so there is a direct relation between energy and capacitance 
when the battery is connected now the second thing by charging it to maximum or by increasing the capacity to maximum at that point i am disconnecting the battery now i have disconnected the battery now just observe the energy and the capacitance are inversely related now so if i am decreasing the area the capacitance will decrease but observe the energy is increasing and now if i am increasing the area of the plates the capacitance is increasing but the energy is decreasing just observe the yellow and green graph that both are behaving inversely to each other so that's the behavior of capacitor when the battery is connected or either disconnected i'm hopeful that majority of the things about capacitor are clear to you now if you like the video then please subscribe the channel and share this video to maximum people so that everyone can get the concept about capacitor thank you